Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to track two, the CC Mouth Guard track. Uh, we've got an interesting game coming up here between Italy and Argentina. My name is Stay Puffed. I am G.I. Jones. And uh, we're actually both from Calgary. I, uh, yeah. Weird coincidence is... that we're doing this game together, um, especially because I've never been to either one of these countries. How about you? I played against Argentina. Okay, there you I go. I can show you some bruises that I earned the other night. <laughs> um, so now I was looking up some stats earlier. Uh, I'm just trying to remember which one it was. It's Italy that was not in the World Cup in 2014. So, but Argentina actually, interesting story, they only showed up with eight skaters and they still placed seventh in the tournament. That was an incredible experience. Of course, I was at the 2014 uh, World Cup and it was just amazing to watch them go. I'm seeing a lot of the same faces and actually played against the same faces the other night and to not be just a photographer and to watch them go. They've improved. Uh, a lot of these teams that are coming back for their second time mm -hmm. are doing an amazing job improving. Team Japan felt bad that they lost earlier, but my gosh, their play compared to when we saw them in 2014. And I expect the same thing from Argentina. Well, you know, both of those teams now have a full squad too, which is an interesting um, statement about men's roller derby. I mean, it's only been two years and now they're feeling a full squad. And I mean, you can't even throw in the excuse that it was a far distance because either way, they're still coming a long way to be here today. They are here and they are ready to play. I mean, uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Italy actually has less than them. And uh, I would say Italy is more accessible to, to, to North America and coming up than Argentina in some cases uh, financially. Could be entirely true. I know that true, that was definitely sure. difficult for them financially to get out here. Yeah. And, uh, and I do recognize some of the faces on the bench from Italy as some of the members of the Team Italy Women's World Cup, the coach that's out there, Pepperoni. Uh, he was coaching the women's team. So he's got some experience under his belt. He doesn't have as many players as uh, Argentina has tonight, but I suspect he's gonna uh, bring them out and uh, show them what Italy can do. No, so let's see if we can find some stats here from earlier in the day. Uh, let's see, Argentina played against Chile, won the game, it was 114 to 30. Uh, and where else have we got? Italy played earlier. I don't have a score, but they played uh, Chile as well. Be interesting, we'll find out what the score was of that game and get that back to you. But I'm, you know, I'm guessing that um, you know, hey, Argentina's had a great uh, well. run here today. So. Um, why don't we start by giving the folks the starting lineup uh, for these games and then looks like they're going to get started here pretty quick. The timer, yeah, the timer on the clock, if I can lean over and get into it. We're looking at two minutes to game time. Okay. So, yeah, let's go down through the rosters here. Uh, pardon us, of course. Okay. Pardon us if uh, we butcher some of these names. Obviously, Italian and Spanish, not our uh, main languages. So I get to go down Italy's roster. We have Grasso, we have Rostin Rolla, Fast and Furio, Flyboy, Nicholas Rage, Chu Berga, Slim Tony, Michael Colella, you might recognize him from the uh, Puget Sound Outcast. We've got Mr. Rebel, we've got Giorgio Murderer, Goofy, and Physio Terrorist. Awesome, and uh, on the Argentina side, playing in this game, we've got 08 Pibe, 087 Oscaras, uh, 1618 is Mingo, 1753 is Trisque, and number two is Bentos, number 21 is Heavy Dolce, number 22 Esquivel, 235 is Luke, number three is Victor Diaz, number four is Bergalo, number 666 is Lorente, uh, number seven is Black Shadow, 930 is Sin Diesel, and finally 99 is Donnet. There we go. And uh, fortunately, we don't have any of the coaches on here, but I can see the uh, there's a whole bunch of ladies at the uh, Italy bench. I see Ilosi Raptor, Betty Burp, and uh, another one who's back I cannot oh. see at the bench, along with uh, Pepperoni Coach. Hey, look, we're on the feed. So, it, hey, how's uh, it going, everyone? Interesting note here, too. It says that uh, both these teams are now playing for second place and the quarterfinal placement. Uh, yeah, so, um, and it, it did, you had mentioned uh, that Argentina did beat Chile in that earlier game. Is that what you mentioned here? Yeah, we, we don't know what the actual score, final score was, but we do know that it was a win for Argentina. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out here on the track in this game. Okay, good. Yes. And look at that, going to the track. First whistle being blown, and we've got on the line, we've got number two for Argentina. Bentos. Bentos, who has a different name on his back. This is always the fun with World Cup. 
and number zero Grasso is the jammer on the Italy side. Both jammers looking to divide and conquer as they come into turn one. Uh, no lead established just yet. We're already a few seconds into this first jam. There we go, lead jam established. Argentina, Mentos taking lead jam as the pack splits up between turn one and two. Meanwhile, at the back of the pack getting recycled and removing his helmet covers, Grasso unable to get anywhere along against this uh, blocking wall. And finally, he makes me eat my words and gets through the pack with the helmet cover off and he will put it back on and continue playing. Isn't that always the way? You know what, an interesting attempt here for uh, um, Italy to start doing the star stash so early, the first jam only. Uh, Ventos though with a sprint down the line into the inside and five points will be the reward. But Italy picked up one, uh, four to one it looks like. Uh, and that will be the first tracks here, jam one done and 28.51 left to play in this game. Yes, and just for all of you viewers at home, of course, if you haven't figured it out yet, Argentina dressed in blue and Italy dressed in white. Their stars are quite cute. They have a red and green around the edging of the star. There is Pibe, who of course we saw back in 2014 on the track right now going up against Rostin Rolla. Yeah. A little slow movement there, starting things off as they lean in. Pibe checking his helmet cover as I think he got some head contact there and the pack moves. Yeah, some jammer on jammer posturing there before the whistle even started and then into the first, or sorry, into that jam. Pibe with a hop over turn three, lead jam for Argentina. Oh, a cut track penalty being uh, sent over to uh, Rost and Rolla heading to the right. penalty box with that cut track penalty. That's going to put a power jam situation for Argentina and Pibe takes advantage of that, puts five on the board for That's them. That's a roller derby athletics power jam, of course. Oh, did you see that hop? Wow. Pibe, uh, having played against him the other day, watch his technique. He gets in and his blockers learn. Uh, we, we lock our shoulders together to block. He's so small that he actually gets into the space below the two sets of, of shoulders and uh, and sides that are together. He's just so maneuverable and gets right in and picks up another five points as he pops through. Yeah, that previous pass, he only got four. There was a no pass, no penalty on that one. And Rustin Roll is on his feet. He is We're ready gonna to be, go. You're going to have uh, some competition back on the track here from Italy. Pibe getting tied up in that Italian defense. It looks like all of them are at least a head higher in height. And uh, Pibe kind of gets swallowed up by that pack there in the stretch. Another five points on that last pass. He fell down but did not go out of bounds. His feet stayed in and I don't believe he put both hands down. Uh, a no pass, no penalty sign was given and he sneaks through and puts another four in. As Rostin Rolla is at the back just not having much success right now. Strong wall from Argentina. And I can confirm they hit really hard and they are solid, <laughs> solid walls. Esquivel took a uh, late penalty in that jam. We'll start the next one in the penalty box. Looks like it'll be a three on two pack advantage for Italy actually going into this one. Uh, but uh, Argentina's uh, 087 is on his feet already. So end that jam, or sorry, that penalty fairly quick. Jamming this time around, we've got Grosso and Luke in white and blue respectively. And the penalty box emptying slowly. Both jammers pushing into the back, neither one having success. A little bit of recycling happening to Grasso. And up front, 235. Luke is pushing, but Kalela, as I said, uh, an outcast skater. I've played against him in uh, many men's games. Lead jam he, to Italy, their first lead jam in this game. Excellent there. Uh, Donnett headed to the penalty box in the meantime for a back block penalty. They're also on the reapproach coming in uh, oh. with a crab walk. Did that go? Oh. Oh, a cut track incurred from that How one. That will give a power track? jam to, it, or no, sorry, to Argentina. As you said, of course, that is of a roller derby athletics power jam. <laughs> yes, it is. If you haven't figured out yet, we've got sponsors and they make this happen, so we have to mention them because. They paid money for that. Yeah. All right, the pack in the far side of the track now. 
and uh, power, a, a roller derby athletics power jam underway for Argentina. Oof. Uh oh, here he comes. Boom. But he went out. Nice Colella went out Colella. and got an out of play block on that one, so he's gone to the penalty box. Five in the sky for Argentina as they take control with this power jam. Grasso standing up in the box, ready to be released, gets released, coming back on the track. Another five point Roller Derby Athletics power jam uh, score for Luke on that last pass. Grasso at the left of your screen, fighting with the Argentinian blockers. Pack here, a bit of a whirling dervish here as they come into turn one. And the penalty box is starting to empty out once again. We'll get a full five on five just before the uh, end of this jam. Two points over to Argentina. Okay. Uh, we want to thank Wiko Skates. Greetings from Finland. Your feet called. They need a hug. Best regards from Wiko Skates. That sounded genuine. I've, I, you've, I felt like you read the letter that was sitting right in front of you, written by the, the hey. Finnish people. Hey, I'm not Finnish. If I was Finnish, it would sound more genuine, I'm But sure. are you finished, the call? Oh, there we go, man. back to the track. Ha <laughs> ha! And getting knocked out once again. We have Flyboy out on the track for the first time for Italy. And that's number seven for Argentina, and number seven is Black Shadow. I think you have to say it kind of like that, otherwise it's not as intimidating. Oh, but Black Shadow sneaks through, and he puts the first points up on this jam, five points. Gets that uh, jammer lap point included on this one. Italy yet to make the initial pass. Looks like we have a star stash, not a star pass, and Flyboy through the pack as Black Shadow makes his way into the pack. With the sprint coming into turn four, Rosterola tried to get a last piece there on number seven. It didn't quite pay off that way. Four points to Argentina to close out jam four. Also want to thank the Derby Shop because Roller Derby saved your soul, but wrecks all your gear. The Derby Shop is online as well as a brick and mortar shop in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, or online at www.derbyshop.nl and is known for the best advice and technical support when it comes to all your roller derby gear. And if you visit, bring cookies. Well, if I visit, I would expect cookies. I, I mean, you hey, know, all the way or, from Canada. Or really good cheese. <laughs> and Back on to the track. To the track. Uh, number 20 is our jammer. Uh, well, we've got Grasso and, of course, oh, number two, sorry? Bentos, who's got that sneaky KQ name or <laughs> KO. Is it a KO? KQ. No, it's KQ. I'm so confused. Yeah. All right, penalty box empty out one again. Once again, we got a, a fresh five on five as we get started in jam five. And uh, the pack kind of splitting up a little bit, but held still just before turn two. Neither <laughs> jammer has really been able to establish lead here in this jam. <laughs> and it almost looks like Grasso was doing a defensive play. At this. He, he was turned completely around. And I was trying to figure out what he was doing. He's, he's just getting recycled and figures if he leans in with his back, maybe he can uh, pop through. When the pack comes to a standstill like that, penalties start getting handed out. Number 37, Chuberga off to the penalty box for Italy. And Grasso finally through, but not before Argentina's Bento makes his way through, does a burrito around the pack, and then taps his hips. Mm, Says burritos. thanks. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Roller Sports Canada, 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup is sanctioned and insured by Roller Sports Canada, Ooh. providing insurance and support for all Canadian roller sports. As you see the replay going on your screen, Ow. that incredible burrito, yeah, and a little friendly action going on there. You know what? They need insurance. And visit www.rollersports.ca or go to Facebook and w check out Roller Sports Canada for all your insurance needs. Speaking of that replay, that is kind of like instant karma. It's like you did this to me, and now your teammate's going to do it to you. Check yeah. it out. Lead jam for Argentina. That's Pibe. Early lead for the team in blue. And the oh, he's and going a power for that inside. Jam, uh, a Roller Derby Athletics power jam, a forearm penalty on Italy's jammer number 14, headed to the penalty box. That's Fast and Furio. Multiplayer jam, uh, multiplayer uh, block being called on Argentina as Pibe splits the defense 
and gets through. Number 10 unable to catch him. Rostin Rolla tried, but no success. Italy now taking the forward position, awaiting the return of Pibe. Ooh, Ooh Mr. No Rebel call. got a skate out in the way, and uh, Pibe takes a reapproach here. Blocking with the head, being given a 16 18. No. Pibe. Oh, to Pibe. Oh, boy. Interesting. And power jam. Uh, well, Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam going over to Italy. <laughs> 19 minutes and 17 left on the clock, and already a big burst of points here for Argentina. Looks There's like a, a, a star being removed there. You could uh, call it a star stash. Let's star go with that. I'll, I'll allow that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's off, it's, and he is through. Fast and Furio with the star stash. No pass on that. And he, uh, I, don't, I don't understand the magic of that. You take it off, and for some reason, it just helps you get through. Um, it's weird that way. It, it is. And he is through on that power jam, that roller derby athletics power jam, and gets through and picks up five points actually as the opposing jammer, Pibe, gets back on the track, but gets a hitting, a high block. Oh boy. And heads right back off. And <laughs> the, the roller derby body athletics language. power jam continues on. No, no, the, bo the body language was the hands <laughs> in the air going, what is this? You could see it, he was not happy about that. And look, the Argentinian bench is ready. Of course, with these 30-minute games, there's no official reviews, but you can go complain and tell Ooh. them that you're not happy. Nice shoulder hit from Argentina on Italy there. I didn't see, I, I didn't catch the number of the skater, but man, you somebody didn't get took the a license big shoulder plate hit. of that truck, did you? That's right, number 99, done it uh, with a big shoulder hit. Five seconds being warned, and the Argentinian coaches are out there talking I see a head ref pointing at something I see a timeout being called okay a team timeout or a timeout has been called hey look we're on the television this timeout is <laughs> gonna go to brought to you by Mary Chaos be harder faster stronger with one-on-one -on -one coaching from Durba Life and Chaos Theory <laughs> we're so good at this years of experience Okay. Psych. All right. We Let's, were just testing you to see if you're going to watch the next ad. But uh, so there is not one. To add on to that, new Durba Life Transformation Challenge starting on August 8th. Visit Chaos Theory blog for more details. I believe Carrie, uh, Chaos is going to be at RollerCon as well. <laughs> as are most of us that are kicking around here because they plan this perfectly. MRDWC, World Cup, and then followed by RollerCon next week. So, uh, yeah. Was this a team timeout? This I'm, I, is a team timeout, oh, okay. but our ad did not pop up because of, you know, glitches in the system. Yeah. Uh, team timeouts are actually sponsored by Quad Skate Shop. My apologies. You know what? I, uh, they don't know that. <laughs> they can't hear us. <laughs> they can't see us pointing at all the cool paperwork we have sitting here on their desk, but they can see the track. And on the track, we've got Goofy with the star, and he takes the inside line. And Vanity, the Italy coach, running around the track. I don't know if she's gone to third base coach or what, but Koofy is out there on a power jam. A what? A roller derby athletics power jam. Indeed. And it was <laughs> a power start too, so good for Italy for taking advantage of this opportunity. Uh, Bibe started this one in the penalty box, um, but is now out of the penalty box and on the approach. Very Oof. quick strides to get up there. Le uh, five points to Italy in that last pass. And Pibe is through the pack on his initial pass. We're going to see Goofy get in here and probably call off the jam. There we go. As any one of us would do. Nice jam by Italy. Uh, that brings their score now to 20 points. Uh, trailing only by 52 at the 15 minute and 40 second mark. Still lots of opportunity here for Italy to come back, but they're gonna have to maybe change a couple things. Oof. What they're doing currently is putting a lot of their skaters into the penalty box, and it's not helping them. This is definitely a uh, heavy penalty. Oh, you can see the coach wrangling the uh, the Argentinians. She's now moved the benches inward. Uh, you can tell when, when a coach is frustrated and things, are, oh, we're back on camera, um, <laughs> are doing things, but there's track, there we go. <laughs> when they turn the benches inwards, you know they're like, stop, getting into this game, you're getting too passionate, we're getting too many penalties, let's sort this out. Really changing things up a little bit, Flyboy on the jam line here, and uh, facing off against the Argentinian defense,
getting some help from teammate number 14, Fast and Furio, trying to chip away at that Argentinian wall. Uh, and our, it, our, our Italian jammer made it through Flyboy, but not cleanly, so he will not have... Uh, oh, wow. Interesting uh, thing here. We got a... Um, Luke is headed off the penalty box, a Roller Derby Athletics power jam and, for uh, Flyboy. Yeah, that's right, but he has no lead, so this gonna is going to go, go the full two minutes. Two minutes. Power jam, as mentioned, he picked up a cutting the track penalty. Uh, well, Flyboy didn't, but the, uh, the other jammer did. And the pack speeding up. Ooh, solid hit by number 99, Tone. Popping Flyboy back. Wow. A little bit of tripping action going on. And it becomes a forearm. Okay, I'll allow that. Five points in the sky for Flyboy. Pack now setting up camp in the far side of the track. And uh, Argentina's jammer, Pibe. No, it's nope, not that's, Pibe. No, uh, that's 235. That is, um, boop, boop, boop. Luke is back on the track. Re-engaging at the back. Now getting forced back almost into turn two. Flyboy leaning in hard, but as I mentioned earlier, the Argentinian blockers, solid, solid heavy boys. Of course, speaking of which, Heavy Dolce being one of them right there, bracing that blocking wall. Rust and Roller, no penalty, but he, he, he admitted to his fault and didn't get a penalty, so he stays back on the track. He was signaling to the ref, shaking his head and saying, yes, yes. All right. Uh, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016 would like to thank Roll Line. Roll Line, the Italian tailored skating experience fit on your needs since 1999. Sure. Also want to thank Alberta Sports Connection, the Men's Roller Derby. Oh, Boom, wow. there's that heavy hit from 99. Darn it, yeah. Yeah, that's that hit that we mentioned earlier and uh, solid. I got one of those the other night. So much fun. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got Grasso. Jamming for Italy this time around. Oof, he almost got by, but then we popped out by number 22. And number seven, the Black Shadow is the opposing jammer for Argentina. Black Shadow. Come on, you gotta say it right. <laughs> it's Keith at the back, doing a great work, holding back Grasso. Lead Kale jam to Argentina, Black Shadow. Kalela he heading to the penalty box. It's gonna put, uh, oh, we have a star pass out on the track. Successful completed there, number 89. Now our point scorer on the Italian side, but a little too late for Goofy. No points awarded at the end of that one. Uh, here's the replay. Uh, well, okay, that's where the star pass happened. On the track? Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Otherwise it would have been an illegal star pass. All right, our score 76 to 29 for Argentina. 11.45 left on the clock. And there's number two, Bentos, of course, as you see. A K and a Q. I'm sure it's secret code for something. Yeah. Rostin Rolla is the opponent for Italy, number 10. And a slow start, a midfield start for the pack, and the jammers just kind of approached, cuddled up nice and close, and figured out what they were going to do. We're starting to take bets on whether it's a K or a KQ. Yeah. Lead jam to Argentina's number two. It's got a little tail to it. I'm almost positive. Camera number two, zoom in, please. <laughs> Pack to the track, bodies flying everywhere. Pack uh, disintegrating there as they come into the far side of the track, Kale backing it way up. Kalela is a solid blocker for his size, and he is out there fighting right now against the jammer, the Argentinian jammer. Oh. And a cut track being assessed, yep. And now we can see his shirt as he comes by. <laughs> There's a cue. Money, free gummy bear for me. All right. Now the pack is in between turns three and four. Only point scorer on the track is Italy's Rustin Rolla. Number 10 with a big shoulder hit up front. Gets forced to the outside, has to come back in behind turn four. Oh, and uh -oh. the... the uh, the star cover comes off. He saw skater number one, but as I had my gummy bears out, he looked over here and missed skater number two and got a cut in the track penalty. You know, I could be wrong, but it seems like every time they take off the why star, somebody this? gets a penalty. And not only that, but they put the camera on us when that happens. I don't know why. Because they want to see you eating wine gums. Yeah. Okay. It's a gummy bear. <laughs> hey, we're on a roller derby athletics power jam. We are. Bentos. Bentos slash track. KQ. 
is out there fighting past the immediately. Oh, he did a beautiful backwards, but then got, oh, ouch. Seeing a lot of shoulder hits here between these two teams. And that was physio terrorist popping him out and another cutting the track penalty. I would say he's not paying attention to people's feet. And I feel we're gonna see, and that's, again, we just saw another hit from physio terrorist popping someone out. You know, it's interesting because Argentina's got a significant lead, right? It's not insurmountable. Italy could totally come back. But I'm really surprised that Argentina's not playing a little more conservative. Like, they're picking up these penalties, like, the cut track penalties, penalties and things will like that. kill your game. I mean, yeah. they're, gonna not, they're not gonna realize it now. But, you know, once, <laughs> once things start getting more serious and crunch time happens, it's gonna matter. We've got an official timeout on the ground. And so we're gonna go to these reads we have and all right. tell you about stuff. S1, the S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a life, sorry, get a lifer and be a lifer. <laughs> S1helmets.com. That you're telling me to get a life. Yeah, I'm well. like, I have an S1 helmet. I'm not a loser, <laughs> I promise. I may not win a lot of games. And here's those shoulder hits. Yeah. That's definitely a backlog. I don't know whether or not that was called. Cool. Just barely hanging around yeah. the outside I want to see some of those 898 hits. Yeah. Physio Terrorist is out there, and he, he clocked a bunch. If I could telepathically communicate with the production group, I would ask to pull back and get a couple of those 898 Physio Terrorist hits at the end of that last jam. Watch this guy just bop people. Now, that's that spin from earlier. There's Kalela. Oh, that's that earlier one where we have the double hit and these two hit, in, hit each other. Boop. We've seen that one. Yeah. This is, a, this is like, you know, watching Batman 2. We've already seen this one. <laughs> anyway, back to the track on this Roller Derby Athletics Power start. For Grasso. Grasso out there and he's going to push a lot of offense. So that's going to keep the pack together. That's not going to help him too much. Four on three pack advantage for... There. Now they need to stop. Italy in starting uh, uh -oh. Jam 11 too. But fell off. Oh, glasses. Someone lost their glasses. Oh. Trip by Grosso coming into the stretch. Finally around the last of the blockers, number three. But uh, Bentos is back on his feet and back on the track. We might see some jammer posturing going on here. Really, it's up to Grosso whether he's going to try and make it for more points or... Oh, he's going to let it ride. Oh, it and seems. there's the inside line for him, too. Look at Freebie. That. Mentos getting caught up in the Italy defense here in turn four. Meanwhile, Grasso's racking up the points. Another four in that last pass. He looks tired, but he's not and stopping. And another sneak. Oh, <laughs> just about came Spoke up the too outside soon, of that. Man. I know. I know. I saw him going on the left and fall out on the right. How'd that happen? Yeah. He's well, done this, a pretty good line. It just he wasn't able to complete it. That's but this thing. time he does. Oh, and crab walks right past that. Puts five up there. That's great for Italy. <coughs> Pardon me. Italy's Again, it's just a constant stream in and out of the penalty box, and yeah. that will, with six minutes left, I feel that will. Ooh, well, that know, will maybe, hurt them. You know, maybe that's part of their strategy. They only get five penalties but it's only a 30 minute game so maybe they're taking those chances because that, they have that opportunity it's definitely a ratio that's that's advantage oh solid number four that guy Brigallo <laughs> he was hitting like a storm the other night when we were playing we bet uh, both the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs and Vancouver Murder played against Argentina to help them uh, get their MRDA mm -hmm. and um, wow number four You'd be standing there watching the game all nice and innocent because the play's nowhere near you. He'd come out of left field and just take you right out. And big, that's what he just did. Big 13-point jam for Italy. Oh. Definitely helps to chip away at that lead. 42 points now on the board for the team in white. Argentina's at 86. And we've got uh, an interesting uh, <laughs> Match start to this jam here. Flyboy and Look Mentos. at Pibe. Whoa. Oh, no, sorry, Pibe. That's Pibe. And, wow. He just gets nice and low. And, uh, and he gets through like he just did, and he's got lead for Argentina. Duck and run seems to be the uh, name of the game for Bibe. Finding that opening again and through for five. So on the track, of course, Flyboy taking off his helmet cover. And... Um, getting through as PBA looks back before he can pick up the score and um, calls off the jam. Flyboy unable to pick up anything on that. 
a nine point jam for Argentina bringing their score to 95. We enter the final five minutes of play. Let's watch the replay. Trying to barge through there, sees the inside line, but uh, ouch. I tell you, the magic of removing the helmet cover. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it does to a jammer, but it works. And it's the weirdest thing because we've only seen it in the past year or two. Yeah. Or just, less even. It just became a new it's thing. It's a thing. But you know, they're, they're, they're not even hiding it anymore. That's no, no, the no. That's it. The There's no star like, stash. Everybody knows. It's a star open. remove yeah. and then magic. Okay. So back to the action here. It's a four on two pack no, advantage. Goofy's going to go for a roller derby athletics a direction penalty. Of, yeah, direction of play penalty is going to give a power jam to uh, Argentina's number 235. Luke rounding the track. Goofy will spend some time in the penalty box thinking about what he done. And then we'll have a roller derby athletics power jam. Not a penalty. There we go. <laughs> power jam for or a roller derby athletics power jam. Of course, five points on the board for Luke. And the pack holds still on the far side of the track. Argentina breaking the 100 mark, which is good. Chu, Chewy went down. Ooh, a little bit of forearm assist there by Luke. Doesn't get caught on it. Luke tiptoeing around the outside oh. of turn two. Gets uh, brought back into the stretch. Yeah, and back uh, a back lock penalty yeah. that getting was... handed out. We got two skaters oh off my. the penalty box. I missed Luke, who got that Luke one. Luke is going to go to the penalty box for cutting the track penalty. That's going to put Goofy out there on a roller derby athletics power jam as he finally puts his star back on. And he's only got a few seconds. He might be able to pick up five or 10 points, depending how fast he is, in this 35 to one seconds that are left in this little bit of offense. Unable to help him. But he does it himself, takes the outside, a multiplayer block being issued to number four, who's gonna go, and that's gonna just leave two blockers on the track. Roller Derby Athletics power jam continues for Goofy. Argentina's only got two blockers on the track. Getting some help from number 14, the Fast and Furio. Hoping to split those two blockers up. An additional five to call it the end of the jam 13. And yeah, there's those two points, uh, two passes I was talking about. That's good of him too. Hey, listen, if you if it's too far to come to Calgary this year, why not be the host of the 2018 Men's Roller Derby World Cup? Details are in your programs and on our website. Um, I suggested that we hold it at Joan's house, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have, have enough room. And we've got a team timeout going to Italy. Team timeout brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. And imagine an ad appearing on your screen right now talking about Quad Skate Shop. Team of the tournament fans, we're letting you choose one of our MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament will now include a fan favorite award as chosen by you. So be sure to check out our Facebook page during Saturday's play and vote for your favorite. Score right now sitting 104 to 52. We got one and a half minutes left in this game. And as you can see, the clock is still ticking even though we're on a timeout because these are 30 minute games. And this is quite important because from here, G.I. Jones is running off to track one to go shoot Team Japan playing against Team USA. So you know with your camera. With my camera. Let's Shoot. just sorry, be clear sorry. for the yes. people listening at home. Of course, home. my name is G.I. Jones. I am an army guy, but no, I am also a photographer. As you can see, if they cut to me, look at that, Team Japan. <laughs> Perfect timing there, production crew. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing a Team Japan shirt. It's pretty awesome. And I will go and photograph them playing against Team USA next. And now we have an official timeout. This is going to kill the game. I feel the momentum might be lost with this. Well, it's interesting because Italy had brought some fans over to do the cheer with them and all the rest, but I think they kind of decided, listen, this game isn't ours. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. We only got a minute or so left. Let's just finish it up. And perhaps what they're doing here, oh, interesting. I see a new tactic. They're putting two jammers on the track. <laughs> no, 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 that's sorted out. They're gonna put Kalela. Kalela, you gotta watch his footwork. He's pretty sly. I've, uh, I've played against him as an outcast and uh, I've played with him at RollerCon. <laughs> um, he's fast and furious. He's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. But somebody already had that name on the team, Fast and Furio. Ta so he couldn't take boom. it. Boom, and we've got nine seconds left in this game. I don't know if so we're going to... So this is going to oh, be look. the last jam. <laughs> look at that, well, how appropriate. One more jam. That's right. One, and you're all typing that on your Twitter. 
and sending it to at men's RDWC, I'm sure, saying one more jam, Team Italy. Black uh -oh. Shadow jamming for the Argentinian side. Yep, Colella and to the box. A power jam brought to you by Roller Derby Athletics as uh, Black Shadow just rounds the track. Black Shadow should just call it off right now. I mean, it's a finito, as we would say, I imagine in Italian. But all those people are home that are still awake in Italy watching this game. You know what? Let's keep going. Oh, beautiful footwork as he dances around. And a penalty being handed out uh, out of play to Mr. Ravel. <laughs> Black Shadow just dances through. There's two blockers out and they got swarmed by the Argentinians. Five points Ooh. in that five points in that pass. And another Dark one. Shadow. Another five. As the pack comes into turn four. Where Earlier is this Galella? point, it's just about a glory run. Uh, the jammer had fouled out, actually. Oh, that is the worst way in to the finish the jam. game. I am so sorry, Italy. Well, you know, the thing is, they knew the end was coming anyway. They must and they have put him figured. on, so they must have figured, you know what? If he does get through, he's going to get a ton of points. And yeah. if he doesn't, c'est la vie, or yeah. however they say it in <laughs> Italian. Yeah, what is c'est la vie in Italian? I would have to check Google yeah. Translate. Somebody message me. I know I have Italian friends out there. Send me a message on Facebook. C'est la vie in Italian. Por favor. Is por favor Italian? Spanish. No, that's Spanish. Oh my gosh. Uh, linguists of the world are crying tonight. <laughs> hey, I can talk French <laughs> and English, you know. As a Calgarian, that's not bad. All right. Black Shadow with Look one at that. additional Non stop. Pass. Five, points. Five seconds left in the game. The Italians, I think, are just beside themselves at this point. Not really sure what to do. All right, as the final whistles blow. Unofficial score at the end of 30 minutes, 52 for Italy, 129 for Argentina. We'll wait for the official nod from the folks in the stripes. However, I think it's pretty safe to say that Argentina took this game. Fantastic uh, game between these two teams. And, you know, regardless of the score, Italy definitely um, give Argentina a run for their money. And Argentina having a great time right now, celebrating as you would expect Argentinians to celebrate. Um, and there we go. Thanks so again, we're going to say goodbye and see you later.